everybody, I'm Shaka Upadhyay and today I'm about to read a book. The name of the book is A Book for Puchku. Let's get started. Puchku, have a bath. Puchku, eat your food. Puchku, go to class. Puchku, get on the bus. Puchku, do your homework. Where is Puchku? Puchku is busy. She has a book to read. Puchku reads all the time. At home, in school. In the park, in bed, page after page, book after book. One by one, she has read them all. Why are you always reading, Puchku? Asks Wolf. Come watch a cartoon instead. Books are so much more fun, says Puchku. Look, you see a circle and a straight line. Push it in, pull that out and it becomes a letter line of the letters and you have a word. Words can be wise, words can be funny, words can be sad, and words can be sunny. When you put words together, they make sentences, and sentences become stories. Read it and wish you are in another world. But today, Puchku is in a fix. She has run out of books to read. All the books that she could read in the library, she's read from chapter 1 to the end. What will I do? No more books to read, yells Puchko. Wait, what? Over there. Puchko looks up and sees not one, not two, but three more shelves full of books. More books! Puchko whispers in the light. There is still one problem though. She's too short and the bookshelf is too long. How can Puchko get up there? Maybe she can use a washing line or mask study to climb. How about the chairs and tables in the room? It would be really helpful, thinks Puchku, to have a giraffe at hand, even a monkey or boat. Puchku has a plan. She calls Bulku and Bulku for help. As quiet as they can, they climb on top of each other. Bulku, you're happy. Bulku complains. Told you not to eat that last rascula. It's not me, Bulto hisses. It's Pushku. Shh. Almost there, says Pushku. Just then, it all goes wrong. Ah! What is happening here? It is the very tall library. She puts Pushku down. Bulto and Dudla run away. Pushku looks up sadly at the book. She mo- almost had it in her hand. Can I help? Asks a very tall librarian. I was trying to climb the bookshelf. I have run out of books to read, says Puchku, sadly. Why didn't you say so, says the very tall librarian. As long as I am around, you do not have to climb the bookshelf. May I pick you up? Puchku nods. I will take this and this and this one too, says Puchku happily. Thank you. Take this one too, says the very tall librarian. When I was small, I loved this book. You were small once, Puchko asks. Oh yes, even smaller than you, says the very tall librarian. But then I grew and so will you. Until then, all you need to do is ask for a book and I will be there to give it to you. But... Is Puchko listening? No, she's not. She's inside her book. Though a circle and a line and a letter and another, then a word and another, a sentence and another, now a story. Because Puchko has a new book. Thank you.